sunset time. Uh, it's one of those busy days where I wasn't out here much except lunch. Uh, during the lunch break I picked beans, picked raspberries, which are back there. Uh, I checked on the birds and uh, weeded. I weeded while I was picking my food. More weeding needed, but that's, that's an always. Um, strongly considering using some of the excess silage tarp to get this pond started. And this morning when I came out around lunch and the shade was still here, this pump was actually gently working. So that was good to see. This is my new solar no battery pump. So it only works when the sun's on it. And I really think that is going to be plenty. I think it's going to be plenty. I see that I have one of the leaves dead already. Hmm. But the idea is just to keep it from being all mosquito-y and gross. And I do really want to get this pond started sooner so I think my reclaimed items are gonna be a better bet once I can get to that maybe this weekend also I got sick of waiting with the um, the sun chokes I was working on uh, was it yesterday I was working on this um, bringing bricks up in here because look that's all the way up to eh, about there on my leg, I guess. Um, and I really did want to get that further underway. And dragging a wagon full of bricks, carrying them one by one was what I was doing before, like in bundles of three or four. So I loaded up the wagon and I got myself a clear sidewalk. And I gave up on having all the sun chokes bloom. They get so much sun right here, but they just have to fall over. I don't understand it. Um, oh well. Here's some of those climbing tomatoes. I've definitely still got some peppers up in here too. I'm picking them small because they go bad before they get big. I am going to bring more of the tires over and line those up along here um, as a more complete retainer wall and that'll free up the space towards the front for uh renovations i guess and just kind of like moving a bunch of stuff around i noticed these bricks are taller than the rest though so this seam it ends up being like a rocker so i'm hoping i got enough of this kind to either fully line it or it's gonna have to be on top which is gonna be a bummer because they're scratchy these are scratchy bricks but uh i'll figure it out for the moment, I think I just need to set those weird ones aside because those are not normal bricks. Those are like some bizarre aggregate brick. So yeah, I do still have that silage tarp from the front. There's a lot of holes in it, but I think I can find a spot with no holes that's big enough to finish up the pond. The question is, do I want it to get any deeper first? And then that same pump can get kerplunked on top and just do the same thing that it was doing earlier today. It's capable of making like a fountain and spraying, but I really think that just a very gentle circulation of the water is plenty. It was just poof, poof. A little bit about this tall of just like splash water, splash water, as long as it's moving, you know? And all of that heavy clay, Remember that bowl I made? This is uh, dried about as well as Play-Doh would be. And let's see. Yep. Holds water just fine. You can definitely make pottery with my dirt. In fact, I'm saving some of the stuff that dries for that purpose. We'll just put that there. Um, if it accidentally dries or if it's pure enough clay, then I do end up saving it 
crumbling it and you can reconstitute it after you crumble it but this is what happens if you accidentally let the clay soil dry up it it becomes really really brittle and rock like so I think that's about all for today it's not like a ton of stuff to look at I've got a retainer wall underway and the birds continue to be pretty happy where they're at. I did put a little sand with rocks in the bottom because they had been knocking it over previously and basically what they did was dug out the rocks. But I did put a little sandbox in there for them and there's their water and they like to stand here and look out this window this window and watch the bugs from where I dumped out the compost bin. I did move the leaning tower of composta out here, dumped it. Just gonna have an active compost pile in this area to get this rejuvenated. I figured out that this quote unquote compostable plastic containers, the bags that Fresh News, the litter comes in, say they're compostable. But I think that's why I couldn't get more compost to feed down. It had caught at the bottom and I could get everything underneath it to move, but it had just stopped everything from continuing to flow through. Though that flow through trash can situation is very, very damaged at this point. So I really don't think it's still usable in any way. I have another trash can ready to turn into a new one when I get around to it. I just hope that my, uh, soldier fly population continues to survive winters and stuff so because there's a really good soldier fly population in this they're really good for composting so yep there's tiny baby birds inside that are really not so tiny anymore they're like a big handful of a baby bird this is a mess back here but whatever and oh I harvested these earlier today and they're still this was not ripe at lunchtime. It's now 7 p.m. and they're ripe. If you let it go more than two days, they start to drop off from from uh, being overripe and, and then end up little raspberry puddles. They're so good. I can't handle how delicious these are. So really excited that these are doing so well settling in so well and that everything's going so well with the garden we'll go have a look over the view I walk past my mess of compost that fell out don't know what this is it's a money chip why the heck was there a money chip in my compost i have never played this game in my life I played poker with my cousin when I was 16. I'm 39 now. Why is that in my compost? Um, this is literally the last time I played poker. <sighs> so, here we go. It's kind of a pretty night, hazy. Good night for being boating. All right, I hope you enjoyed the cliffside. Mushrooms and a little tour and I hope you have a good day. Take care. Bye.